Hi, I'm Chris Raggi in the CBS2 Newsroom. Right now, the FDNY is holding its 150th Medal Day ceremony at City Hall. 67 awards are being presented to officers for their life-saving work during the past year. Let's watch as they receive those honors. It now gives me great pleasure to introduce our first speaker, the mayor of the city of New York, Bill de Blasio. Thank you, Chief Guerra. It is a real amazing thought to recognize that the FDNY gave its very first award, the James Gordon Bennett Medal, in 1869. In 1869, our fire trucks were pulled by horses. In 1869, the great hero of the Civil War, General Ulysses S. Grant, was President of the United States. That's how far back the extraordinary tradition of the FDNY goes. But you know, you could think that's a long time ago and things must have been very different, but you know what's exactly the same is the heroism, the bravery, the professionalism, the commitment that makes the members of the FDNY so great, so admired all over this country, all over this world. Today, we get to recognize some of the heroes who did some of the most amazing things. And we get to thank them, and we get to thank all of you, their family members. And I always like to recognize that everyone who serves our city, everyone who serves our nation, is able to do it because of the love and support of their family. So would you do me a favor, everyone? Let's support and let's thank all the family members for all they do. I want to thank our Commissioner Dan Nigro, our Chief of Department John Sudnick, and First Deputy Commissioner Laura Cavanaugh for their leadership, all the leadership of the FDNY present for all you do. I want to thank the union leadership as well for all you do on behalf of the people who do such important work for all of us. So that phrase we use, New York's bravest, that title was earned. It's not overstated, it's not made up, it was earned. It was earned in the searing heat of countless fires. And today, we honor 67 good New Yorkers, 67 members of FDNY who have earned that title and then some. I want to talk about the award recipients today, but first, we must remember two heroes who made the ultimate sacrifice this year. Firefighter Stephen Pollard of Ladder 170 was the 1,151st member of the FDNY to fall in the line of duty. He saw a man in a crumpled SUV along a highway. He rushed across two highways to save him, lost his life in that effort to be there for someone in need. We miss him and we remember him. And firefighter Christopher Slutman, ladder 27, the 1,152nd member of the FDNY to fall in the line of duty. At this very ceremony in 2014, I had the great honor of awarding the Fire Chiefs Association Memorial Medal to firefighter Slutman. No idea at that moment what we would know five years later, that we would lose him in the service of his nation, because he wore two uniforms. He was not only a 15-year veteran of the FDNY, he was also a staff sergeant in the U.S. Marine Corps Reserve, and he fell protecting all of us in Afghanistan. And we miss him, and we will always be there for him, for his family. Their legacy of selfless courage is carried on by the members of the FDNY today, and these 67 recipients exemplify that same tradition, that same commitment. Each one of them honored today showed strength, showed courage, showed quick thinking, showed bravery in the face of extraordinary odds. Each one has an amazing story, but I only want to offer two examples. Lieutenant Patrick T. Mataraza, the third of Ladder 56, is being honored for his heroic actions in saving three lives. Faced with a room filled with deadly heat and smoke and people trapped behind a door, 
He took three attempts to try and get past the flames. He finally broke through and managed to save everyone. Today, Lieutenant Matarazza will receive FDNY's highest honor for firefighters, the James Gordon Bennett Medal. Let's congratulate him and his family. That same selflessness was displayed by paramedic Jacqueline Bennell of Station 14 while transporting a patient. She heard a cry of, help, there's a fire. She didn't hesitate. She turned back into the danger. She banged on the door of every apartment in the building. She found an elderly man choking on the smoke, and she walked him down six flights of stairs to safety. Thanks to paramedic Bunnell, no one was injured that day. Today, she receives EMS's highest honor, the Christopher J. Prescott Medal. Let's thank paramedic Bunnell. And I'll conclude with this. Every one of the stories you're about to hear are amazing, are something we can admire, something we can look up to. I said it yesterday at the ceremony for the police department. I want to say it today at the ceremony for the fire department. In our nation, we look for heroes. We go to the movies looking for heroes. We turn on our favorite sporting event looking for heroes. But if you want to find some genuine heroes, look right here, ladies and gentlemen. They're right here in front of you. The last thing I want to say is borrowed from some of our great faith traditions all over the world, a simple, ancient idea that's just as powerful today, and it's this. Whoever saves a life saves the world. Whoever steps forward to save one human being creates that moment on behalf of all of humanity. And I want to say this, representing all 8.6 million New Yorkers, I want to thank all of these honorees from the bottom of my heart, because each day you have worked to save the world. You have shown us how it's done. You have given us hope. God bless you all, to the medal recipients, to the families, to the whole FDNY. God bless you. God bless New York City. And God bless America. Thank you, Mayor. Next, we'll hear from our Fire Commissioner, Dan Nigro. Good morning and congratulations to all the men and women whose bravery we celebrate today. And a very special welcome to the extended FDNY family here with us, to the parents, wives, husbands, children, and many more loved ones of our honorees. Your love and your support made their difficult work possible. We are thrilled to have you all with us here on this special day. And a big thank you and welcome to all of the firefighters, paramedics, EMTs, and fire marshals here today showing their support. You've been right here with our medal recipients every day of their careers, including the many difficult incidents we honor them for today. Our honorees traveled a long road to reach this moment. The journey began when they made the choice to dedicate their lives to saving others. That's not an easy decision. It requires courage and true dedication to earn the right to wear the uniform of the FDNY. From there, they completed rigorous training, the best in the world. They learned to fight fires, save people, and provide expert medical care. That training continued well beyond the academy with veteran mentors and officers in firehouses and EMS stations who taught them on every tour. Our job demands that every day in the FDNY, you work hard to be better than you were the day before. 
all of this training, this unwavering commitment, it culminated in the moments we celebrate today. Times when the lives of their fellow New Yorkers hung in the balance and they rose to the occasion. Look no further than Gordon Bennett Medal recipient, Lieutenant Patrick Matarazza of Ladder 56. His incredible efforts to repeatedly enter a raging fire in the Bronx saved three lives, including the life of a young child. Or the dedication demonstrated by paramedic Jacqueline Bennell of Station 14, recipient of the Christopher J. Prescott Medal, who was already treating one patient on a medical call and then entered a smoke-filled top floor of an apartment building to rescue another person from a growing fire. The many stories of bravery we'll hear very shortly prove something I've known for my entire career. The commitment of FDNY members is nothing short of extraordinary. In fact, one of our recipients, paramedic Jonathan Rivera of Station 20, is honored twice today once for his expert medical care of a patient struck and pinned under a cargo train, and another time for locating, treating, and helping extricate a fellow first responder trapped up to his chest in mud. That is an incredible commitment to saving lives. And when it comes to saving lives among our honorees this year, no one was more prolific than the members of Ladder 161 in Coney Island. They rescued seven people from a fire, including two children and three adults confined to wheelchairs. Their outstanding teamwork and acts of valor are why they are receiving our World Trade Center Memorial Medal. All of our honorees displayed true bravery when they were called to act. They represented the greatest traditions of our beloved department. To all of our members here today, know how much you mean to this great city. Know that your bravery is inspiring and that millions of New Yorkers are relying on you to keep them safe. And to our medal recipients, know that we are immensely proud of you for your accomplishments and for your steadfast commitment to our life-saving mission. Thank you for ensuring that the FDNY continues to be the best it can be, the greatest fire department in the world. Thank you. Thank you, Commissioner. We will now commence with the presentation of the medals. I will ask the ceremonial officer to escort the mayor, the fire commissioner, and the chief of department to the area in the front of the stage. Our first medals, the James Gordon Bennett Medal and the New York State Honorary Fire Chiefs Association Medals, are presented to Lieutenant Patrick Matarazza, Ladder 56. In March of 2018, Lieutenant Matarazza led the members of Ladder 56 to a report of a fire in a multiple dwelling in the Bronx where panicked occupants were descending a fire escape. Lieutenant Matarazza and his team needed to reach the floor above the fire to search for those trapped. The fire forced them to use that same fire escape and work their way past those frantically trying to escape. 
He climbed to the second floor and found his way to the hallway where the fire was growing rapidly. Time was running out for the trapped occupants. He made two attempts to get past the roaring flames and intense heat. On the third try, he broke through to search the smoke-filled apartment. He quickly found an unconscious adult and child on the floor and began to drag both victims from the apartment, blocked by furniture. He scooped up the child to safety and then returned with his fellow firefighters to rescue the adult. Lieutenant Matarazza re-entered the apartment for a third time, which was now consumed by fire, and he located a third occupant who was removed with assistance from a fellow firefighter. Lieutenant Matarazza's act of valor rescued not one, not two, but three people from a raging fire. Today, we award the James Gordon Bennett Medal and the New York State Honorary Fire Chiefs Association Medal to Lieutenant Patrick Matarazza, Ladder Company 56, Rapid Axes. Our next awards are the Brooklyn Citizens Medal, Firefighter Lewis Valentino Award to Lieutenant Michael Duran of Engine 54, 254. In January of 2018, Lieutenant Duran and the members of Engine 254 responded to a fire in a basement of a two-story home in Brooklyn. Neighbors screamed to the firefighters that an elderly woman was trapped. Lieutenant Duran ordered his firefighters to stretch a hose line as he entered the basement where he found thick black smoke which forced him to crawl down a narrow cluttered hallway. As the heat intensified and flames grew over his head, he crawled forward, finding the woman face down on the floor. With the assistance of firefighters from Ladder 153, Lieutenant Duran orchestrated a careful removal of the occupant to safety. For his extraordinary bravery and endurance without the protection of a hose line, the Brooklyn Citizens Medal, Firefighter Louis Valentino Award, is awarded to Lieutenant Michael Duran, Engine Company 254, the Watchdogs of Avenue U. The next medal, the Christopher J. Prescott Medal, is awarded to paramedic Jacqueline Bunnell of Station 14. Paramedic Bunnell normally saves lives with her expert medical care, but in March of 2018, she rescued an occupant from a fire in the South Bronx. As she began to transport a patient for a medical emergency on the fourth floor, her CO meter went off and she heard someone scream, help, there's a fire. She notified dispatchers and a fellow EMT removed the patient to safety. Paramedic Bunnell then began banging on doors to alert residents and started searching additional upper floors for tracked occupants. Finding an elderly man trapped by smoke and unable to evacuate himself on the sixth floor, quickly and carefully, she guided him to safety, ensuring that he would not be injured or lost in the growing fire around him. Because of her bravery, there were no injured occupants at this fire. Because of her selfless and heroic actions, the Christopher J. Prescott Medal is awarded to paramedic Jacqueline Bunnell of Station 14, the Angels of the Bronx. The next award is the U Bonner Medal, Honor Legion Medal, awarded to firefighter Robert Perone of Ladder 43. Just before 1 a.m. in March of 2018, 
Firefighters from engine 53 and ladder 43 responded to a heavy fire in a grocery store on the first floor of a four-story apartment building. As occupants fled the building by the front fire escape, firefighter Perone moved to the rear yard to search for anyone trapped and discovered a woman hanging from a top floor window. He quickly ascended the fire escape, reaching her just as she let go of the window. Gramming her arm as she fell and using all of his strength, he pulled her over the railing and onto the fire escape. Before he could remove her down the fire escape to safety, a second woman appeared in a window. He entered the smoke-filled apartment and guided her to the fire escape as well. Together, he safely brought both occupants to the ground, rescuing them from the fire. For his tremendous display of strength and bravery, the U Bonner Medal, Honor Legion Medal, is awarded to firefighter Robert Perone, Ladder Company 43, El Barrio's Bravest. <laughs> the next medal is the Emily Trevor Mary B. Warren Medal, awarded to Firefighter Timothy O'Neill, Rescue Company 1. In March of 2018, a helicopter crashed into the East River and began to sink with pe several people trapped on board. This is the first of four medals awarded for the heroic actions at this tragic event. Firefighter O'Neill donned his dry suit on board Rescue One as it raced across Manhattan to the scene. Upon arrival, the members of Rescue One boarded an FDNY Marine boat, then a tugboat, and with confirmation from the pilot that people were trapped, Firefighter O'Neill entered the 40-degree water to search the submerged helicopter. In total darkness, as the helicopter moved downriver underwater at a speed of five knots, he used his extensive training to locate the harness, free the first trapped passenger he found, and bring that person to the surface. He would repeat this extremely difficult and dangerous operation three additional times as the helicopter moved more than 70 city blocks downriver in the fast-moving tide. For his incredible efforts at great personal risk, risk the recipient of this year's Emily Trevor Mary B. Warren Medal is firefighter Timothy O'Neill, Rescue Company One. Outstanding. The next medal is the Thomas E. Crimmins Medal awarded to firefighter Gilberto Martinez of Ladder Company 162. This is the first of two medals awarded for the heroic actions at this fire. In April of 2018, firefighter Gilberto Martinez and the members of Ladder 162 were dispatched to a first floor fire in Queens Village. He used the portable ladder to access the second floor to search for anyone trapped and navigated an overhang that was buckling under his weight to enter a second floor bathroom. Searching the home in zero visibility and intense heat, he found an unconscious occupant and removed her through the window he had entered. He and another member of Ladder Company 162, firefighter John Vasquez, then removed the second unconscious occupant from the fire, rendering critical medical treatment in the process. For outstanding search and rescue efforts that removed two trapped occupants from a growing fire, the Thomas E. Crimmins Medal is awarded to firefighter Gilberto Martinez, Ladder Company 162, the Border Patrol. Our next medal, the Thomas A. Kenny Memorial Medal, is awarded to Captain Kenneth Freeman, Ladder Company 161. This is the first of three medals awarded for bravery at this fire. In December of 2017, Captain Freeman led the members of Ladder 161 to the report of a fire with children trapped. Upon arrival, the firefighters found soot-covered parents who told them their kids were still trapped inside. 
Captain Freeman led an aggressive search past the raging fire and through heavy clutter of toys and clothing, all of which made locating the children extremely difficult. Undeterred, he fought forward and found an unconscious child. He protected him from the fire with his own body and removed him from the apartment to safety. For rescuing a child from certain death, Without the protection of a hose line, in severe heat, and with no means of egress, the Thomas A. Kenny Memorial Medal is awarded to Captain Kenneth Freeman, Ladder Company 161, the best ride on Coney Island. <laughs> Up next is the Walter Scott Medal presented to Lieutenant Dara Williams of Battalion 12. This is the first of two medals awarded for rescues at this fire. In April of 2018, Lieutenant Williams was commanding Ladder 26 when they arrived first due to a fire in an apartment on the 29th floor of a 35-story building in Manhattan. He entered the apartment and moved toward the fire with firefighter Brian Foley, who located and removed one trapped occupant. Lieutenant Williams continued forward to search bedrooms for any others who were trapped. Searching multiple rooms, he found a pregnant woman and two young children desperately gasping for air. Working once again with firefighter Foley, he shielded them from the high heat and removed them to safety. For his leadership and pers persistent, extensive search of an apartment heavily involved in fire that saved multiple lives, the Walter Scott Medal is presented to Lieutenant Darrell Williams of Battalion 12. <laughs> Our next medal is the John H. Prentice Medal, awarded to Lieutenant Glenn Harris, Ladder Company 142. This is the first of two medals awarded for bravery at this fire. In an early morning fire in April 2018, Lieutenant Harris led the members of Ladder 142 to a heavy fire in a home in Queens. As they arrived, occupants were screaming that at least three people were trapped inside on the third floor. Lieutenant Harris rushed up the stairs past the fire into the attic apartment and secured the door to protect those who were trapped. The fire then auto-exposed into a window on the third floor, further endangering the lives of those trapped. As he searched the apartment, he found two people in different areas of the apartment and worked with firefighter Andrew Musler to remove them to safety. Lieutenant Harris then located two additional occupants and worked with firefighters from Ladder 142 to remove them by a 35-foot portable ladder. For bravely executing a careful and coordinated rescue of multiple trapped people in a heavy fire, the John H. Prentice Medal is awarded to Lieutenant Glenn Harris of Ladder Company 142, Blazing Saddles. I got plenty.
The next award is the Henry D. Brookman Medal, presented to Lieutenant Jose Grillon, Battalion 27. In June of 2018, Lieutenant Grillon led the members of Ladder 38 to a report of a fire on two floors of a five-story building in the Bronx. The firefighters forced the apartment door on the second floor, and Lieutenant Grillon began his search, finding an unconscious burned occupant who he quickly removed from the apartment to receive medical care from his fellow members. The lieutenant later re-entered the apartment on two separate occasions, locating a second unconscious occupant and removing that person with the aid of his fellow firefighters. Lieutenant Grillon's bunker coat was so badly burned by the brutal conditions at this fire that it was condemned. For his brave actions, the Henry D. Brookman Medal is presented to Lieutenant Jose Grillon of Battalion 27. The next medal, the Chief Ulysses Grant Leadership Medal, is presented to then-Lieutenant, now Captain Sean McGrath of the Haztac Battalion. In January of 2018, Lieutenant McGrath brought every bit of his training with him as he responded to Penn Station for a work badly burned and injured on top of an Amtrak train when he came in contact with overhead power lines. Working closely with firefighters from Rescue One, Lieutenant McGrath helped treat and develop a plan for removing his patient from the train to the platform for continued care. Lieutenant McGrath used not only his leadership skills, but his extensive paramedic training as well to both supervise the medical care and provide extensive medical care to critically injured patients. For his quick actions, strong leadership, and bravery, the Chief Ulysses Grant Leadership Medal is awarded to Captain Sean McGrath of Station 40, then as a member of the Haztac Battalion. Be elite because you are. Our next medal is the Hispanic Society 23rd Street Fire Memorial Medal of Valor, presented to Lieutenant Yu Barr of Ladder 59. <laughs> On a hot July night in the Bronx in 2018, Lieutenant Barr led the members of Ladder Company 59 to a basement fire with the trapped occupant. The low ceilings, heavy smoke condition, and high heat created a dangerous environment for both firefighters and anyone trapped. After searching multiple rooms, Lieutenant Barr saw another doorway past the fire room and crawled under the flames to reach it, where he found an unconscious occupant. Assisted by his fellow firefighters, Lieutenant Barr pulled the occupant from the fire. For his great courage and tenacity at this difficult fire, the Hispanic Society 23rd Street Memorial Medal of Valor is presented to Lieutenant Yu Barr of Ladder 59, the Blue Devils. Our next medal, the MJ Delahanty Medal, is prevented, presented to firefighter Brian Foley of Ladder Company 26. This is the second medal awarded for rescues at this fire. In April of 2018, firefighter Foley and Lieutenant Williams of Ladder 26 responded to a fire in an apartment on the 29th floor of the 35-story building in Manhattan. Firefighter Foley forced the door open and crawled past the fire, locating and removing a trapped occupant. He re-entered the apartment, the fire now growing in intensity, and located a second person. He carried the child down to the 28th floor to safety, where his fellow firefighters began medical care, and then went back up to the fire apartment for a third time to assist his officer, Lieutenant Williams, in removing another child from the fire. For his courage and determination to save others, the MJ Delahanty 
Safety Medal is awarded to Firefighter Brian Foley of Ladder Company 26, the Fire Factory. Up next is the Mayor Fiora, Fiorello H. LaGuardia Medal, presented to Lieutenant Ryan McNamara of Ladder 20. In December of 2018, Lieutenant McNamara led the members of Ladder 20 to a fire in a four-story, non-fireproof multiple dwelling with heavy clutter conditions, no rear fire escape, and a small, narrow public hallway. His team went to the floor above the roaring fire to search the apartment for those who may have been trapped. They found rooms fully engulfed in flames. He found an unconscious occupant in a bathroom and pulled her to safety. Retracing his route, the lieutenant found a second unconscious woman in the bathroom and pulled her to safety as well. Working closely with the members of Ladder 20 and Engine 33, both documents were removed to the street for emergency medical care. For his decisive actions, deliberate search, and leadership, the Mayor Fiorello H. LaGuardia Medal is presented to Lieutenant Ryan McNamara of Ladder Company 20, Soho Trucking Company. Our next medal is the William F. Conran Medal. It's presented to firefighter Joseph Forrest of Ladder Company 38. This is the first of two medals for bravery at this fire. In March of 2018, Ladder 38 responded to a fire on the top floor of a four-story building, just blocks from their firehouse in the Bronx. There were reports of an occupant trapped on that floor. Firefighter Forrest climbed the aerial ladder, ventilated the window, and entered the top floor apartment, finding fire in the living room and hallway toward the bedroom. He quickly conducted a search, finding the unconscious man in the center of the room, trapped under a piece of furniture. Conditions were deteriorating rapidly. The fire and smoke were growing overhead, and another piece of furniture fell onto Firefighter Forrest. Undeterred, he removed the occupant to the window and worked with Firefighter Thomas McMahon to bring him down the aerial to safety. For his brave actions in rescuing a man from a rapidly extending fire, the William F. Conran Medal is presented to Firefighter Joseph Forrest of Ladder Company 38, the All-Stars. Our next awards, the Chief John J. McGilligott Medal, Firefighters Fitzpatrick and Frisbee Award goes to Firefighter David Burkhardt of Ladder Company 2. This is the first of two awards for bravery at this fire. In April of 2018, Firefighter Burkhardt and the members of Engine 8 and Ladder 2 responded to a confirmed explosion with the fire in the basement of a parking garage in Midtown Manhattan. Primary searches were hampered by excessive clutter and extreme heat, which created very difficult conditions for the members operating. Firefighter Bar Burkhart and Firefighter Scott Hickey of Ladder 4 forced open a heavily fortified door and advanced without the protection of a hose line into a blacked out basement filled with pedicabs, clutter, and storage. Among the tangled maze, they searched in darkness and located an unconscious person. They retraced their steps and removed the injured person under difficult conditions to the street for immediate medical care. For true bravery to save a life, the Chief John J. McGilligott Medal, Firefighters Fitzpatrick and Frisbee Award is awarded to Firefighter David Burkhart of Ladder Company 2, Midtown High Rise.
Up next, the Thomas F. Doherty Medal, presented to Lieutenant Joseph Cavaretta, Engine Company 236. In September of 2018, Lieutenant Cavaretta led the members of Engine 236 to the report of smoke. As they entered the block, numerous residents were waving them into a confirmed fire on the top floor of a two-story building in Brooklyn. A hydrant blocked by cars created a dangerous delay in securing water. And believing people were trapped by fire, Lieutenant Cavaretta pushed forward into the building encountering heavy fire and found an unconscious occupant in the fire apartment. He removed the person with the assistance of his fellow firefighters, then returned to conduct an additional search, this time finding a second unconscious occupant, once again removing the injured person to safety for leading a tremendous rescue operation that saved two lives. The Thomas Doherty Medal is awarded, is presented to Lieutenant Joseph Cavaretta of Engine Company 236, the pride of East New York. Our next medal is the Albert S. Johnston Medal, presented to Firefighter Burned Welby of Ladder Company 134. In April of 2018, the Big House, Engine 264, Engine 328, and Ladder 134 responded to a heavily advanced fire in a private dwelling in Queens. As a resident told firefighters that an elderly woman was trapped on the second floor, and firefighter Wobi used the 24-foot extension ladder to enter a second floor window to search for her just as heavy rain and high winds began to batter the members operating. Surrounded by intense heat, he located the unconscious woman face down on the floor and began to remove her through the window he had entered. Firefighter Carl Kratowski of Ladder 134 worked closely with Firefighter Wobi and carried the woman down the ladder just as the room ignited in flames for his remarkable actions in rapidly deteriorating conditions, both in inside and outside the fire building. The Albert S. Johnston Medal is awarded to Firefighter Burned Wobi of Ladder Company 134, the big house. Our next award is the Bella Stifel Medal, presented to Firefighter Edward Daly of Rescue Company 2. This is the first of two medals awarded to members of Rescue Company 2 at this fire. In August of 2018, Rescue 2 responded to a supermarket fire in Brooklyn. Heavy fire engulfed the first floor, smoke billowing from three floors of the apartments above and the lobby was filled with screaming, self-evacuating residents. Firefighter Daly searched the second floor apartment filled with fire and found two unconscious occupants. As engine 231 directed water into the second floor window from the street below, Firefighter Daly shielded the injured people and then worked with ladder 111 to remove one person by the tower ladder bucket. He removed the second victim from the apartment to the public hallway and then returned to assist in removing a third occupant who had been found. Firefighter Daly's tra ded training, dedication, and bravery led to the removal of three people from a difficult, growing fire. For his actions, the Bella Stifle Medal is presented to Firefighter Edward Daly of Rescue Company 2, the rescue. The next medal is the Tracy Allen Lee Medal and is presented to Lieutenant Paul Artizone of the Haztac Battalion and paramedics Juan Henriquez and Huang Jung Yoon of Station 8. 
In September of 2018, Lieutenant Artizone and Paramedics Enriquez and Yoon were aboard FDNY boat Marine One Bravo as part of a cruise ship escort when they received word of a cardiac arrest patient aboard the cruise ship. Working closely with dispatch to secure land-based units for transport and NYPD Harbor to board the ship, the three highly trained EMS members responded to the cruise ship medical bay and found an unstable patient with cardiac symptoms. They began immediate medical intervention to stabilize their patient and worked with NYPD to secure transport of the patient to land and a waiting ambulance for bringing the tremendous training and medical care of FDNY EMS from the streets of New York City to a ship miles offshore and for their outstanding coordinated medical treatment of a critical patient. The Tracy Allen Lee Medal is presented to Lieutenant Paul Artizone of the Haztac Battalion. Be elite because you are. And paramedics Juan Enriquez and Juan Jung Soon of Station 8, the first and still the best. We've been watching the medal ceremony for FDNY officers at City Hall. This year, 67 awards were presented for events such as rescuing children trapped in a fire and saving a patient from a railroad track.